You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Let me give you a backstory. This is me, and this is my mom and dad. And we have three days on our journey to Mars. Just kidding. I mean, Utah. But you know, tomato, tomato. Right when we got to the airport, mom realized that when she called to cancel one of the hotels through the phone, the agent also mistakenly canceled the car that we rented. So now, we couldn't get any car available until tomorrow noon. And with that, we easily lost a day of our trip. But fast forward the following morning, we hit the road towards Bryce Canyon National Park. Since we were running out of time, we tried as much as we can to catch up on the lost day. That's why we decided to pick the shortest trail, which was a sunset point to sunrise point. Looking out from this trail, you can also see sections of the Queen's Garden Trail as it snakes along the ridges off to the left, as well as the switchbacks of the Navajo Loop Trail to the right. Great photo opportunities present themselves all along this half mile walk. Finally, we reach Capitol Reef National Park. First stop, Panorama Point. Can you tell where I got my crazy daredevil character from? <laughs> it may not look as deep on the video, but it was. Now my turn. On the background, you can hear my dad shouting for me to drop on all four and crawl instead of walk. I'm not gonna lie you guys, it was windy and the half second that I stood up, it felt like gravity wanted to pull me down to fall off the cliff. I am like at the top of this rock. My knees are kind of shaking because I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> but I got the shots off. I'm going off. I'm going back there. I'm gonna go crawl. We also stopped at Gooseneck's Overlook because it was so close to Panorama Point. This short walk takes you to an overlook where the Sulphur Creek carved out a canyon, its curving path resembling that of a gooseneck. Our last stop at Capitol Reef National Park was at the Gifford Homestead. It is one of the last remaining buildings in historic Fruta. Here they sell handmade items made by local craftsmen, such as dolls, soap, quilts, jams and jellies, and books. But the big draw is the pie. Stop in for a slice of locally baked fruit pie and ice cream. During our first attempt, they were already sold out. We didn't know that by 12 noon, usually they don't have any left. We were so sad, but we figured we should just go back to Capitol Reef Resort where we were staying for the night. I just need to talk a bit about this location. If you like to take in nature and enjoy being outdoor while drinking your coffee in the morning, this is a perfect place. The cabins were perfect and the beautiful teepees illuminated at night. But the best part? Sunrise lights up the red rock off your porch. Early morning as we were getting ready to hit the road to Caneville, we discussed if we can sneak in some time to drive back to get those pies. And sure enough, the three of us gladly voted yes. We got there at 8 in the morning, right when they opened, and we were successful in our mission this time. Good morning. It smells so good in here. <laughs> in fact, we were so excited, I actually forgot to take a video as we were trying out the mouth-watering dessert. How many pies do you guys usually sell out a day? Um, right now we're doing 30 <laughs> How much? 33 dozen. 33 dozen? Ooh. We were here yeah. yesterday and it was all out. <laughs> yeah, we run out every day. They were like, we're gonna come here early in the morning to make sure we get some. <laughs> Just outside Caneville, Utah, lies Swing Arm City, a 2,600-acre hotspot for off-road junkies. It's a free ride area, which means you're free to ride anywhere in the designated areas. There are short trails on top of the steep spines as well as zigzag trails within the tight canyon walls of dirt. This is a pretty neat place that any rider will enjoy. My dad used to participate in off-road motorcycle events in the Philippines. In fact, they had an actual team. 
so I thought he would appreciate visiting this place. That's why I made sure it was on the list. About 8 miles away from Swing Arm City, behold the Factory Butte, a cathedral-like sandstone hill that rises 6,300 feet above the rugged Caneville Badland, surrounded by wrinkled, vast open space. Views from high above show that the butte is surrounded by large tentacles of wrinkled earth. It seems like Martians could emerge from behind a ridge at any moment. This scenic badlands provide OHV users an unparalleled riding experience. We saved the best for last, the very reason why we came here to Utah, to witness Mars on Earth. I keep seeing this landscape photo on Instagram, but never really know where the exact location was or what it was called. I had to do some Google research to find it. It took a little while, but the name of the colorful hills in Utah are the Bentonite Hills. For a second, we thought we were lost, but as we continued, we passed by the Mars Research Station, which told me that we are on the right path. The bentonite hills appear as softly contoured banded hills in varying hues of brown, red, purple, gray, and green. This layer was formed during Jurassic times when mud, silt, fine sand, and volcanic ash were deposited in swamps and lakes. I was able to take a couple of drone shots until it ran out of battery. I have an old Mavic Air and the battery sucked. It easily emptied, not like the new drones nowadays. But either way, I was glad that I was able to get something. There's this other photo I saw on Instagram that I really, really wanted to see in person. So we kept driving for another hour on a very rocky road looking for this place. But unfortunately, we failed. So we decided to drive back before sunset because we were in the middle of nowhere. And there were no lights, no people, etc, etc. It would be very bad if we get stuck here with no one to help. But I guess now I have another reason to go back to Utah. If any of you in the audience know what the place is called, please, please, please comment down below and give your girl a tip on how to get there. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell button for more upcoming videos. Bye!